So you might be using TickTick. And while it is a pretty great application, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be here and be like, oh no, TickTick stinks. I don't lie like that. I'm an honest reviewer. And I'm extremely honest about the fact that there are at least three other options that might just be better than TickTick. Or at least are pretty similar and you should definitely give them a try if you haven't yet. Number one is Todoist. So this is going to be my main personal adjacent use case for TickTick. If you're somebody who uses TickTick as a personal task manager, I would definitely check out Todoist. First and foremost, you can use this completely free. Uh, however, the pro version is about $4 a year, which is a little more expensive than the premium version of TickTick. Out of the box, you get very similar features. You have quick capture, just like this, with an example at tag and sectioned off into my inbox. So you're able to do natural language processing with tags and with different projects very easily. You're able to set due dates, priority, and even the natural language processing can say things like next Monday, and it'll figure it out, which is very convenient. The mobile app is solid, and overall, this thing's gonna have the majority of what you get with TickTick. However, I will say the Google Calendar integration is very nice, and this is gonna be integrated more so with a myriad of different daily planner apps. It even integrates with Morgan, which is my favorite calendar app. As you can see right here, this is something that you're gonna get in a lot of different applications. Whereas in TickTick, you only have a small number of integrations in comparison. I personally think that the mobile app on this application is a little bit better. However, I will point out that what TickTick does have is a Pomodoro timer and Todoist does not have this out of the box and in general. And this doesn't have time tracking at all for like productivity. And it also doesn't have habit tracking, which TickTick has an entire separate section for, which I must call out. Where I think Todoist shines is more so in the UI and user experience of the application. And from my perspective, one of the biggest indicators of productivity is whether you enjoy what you're doing or not. And if that also includes whatever you're doing to manage your productivity, then you're gonna have to factor that in when it comes to task management and project management. This tool also has the option to work across teams. There is a business option and it also has a paired application called Twist, which is their version of Slack and it integrates very well with their task management system, as you could have guessed. If you haven't heard of Todoist before, I'd be surprised. If you wanna learn more about it, I actually have a Skillshare course you can go check out. Don't even need to pay for it, just get the free trial and then watch it and you're good. But overall, great first option. Now number two for a more business oriented person, I would recommend an alternative to TickTick if you're just not feeling it would be Asana. Now I use Asana at my day job all the time and I appreciate it for what it is because it does have a lot of different views. It has a calendar view, which you're gonna get for free and board and list views as well. It's got a nice my task section as well as the ability to have a myriad of different projects. And if you upgrade, you're gonna get saved searches, which is a great feature as well. There is a myriad of different integration with this application, and that's kind of showcased in the fact that you have automated workflows and reporting and a lot of different views in Asana. It's a very much beefed up version of a task management or project manager, and is definitely more so for businesses. I would not really recommend this for personal use if you're gonna pay at all. If you're gonna use this for personal use, uh, get the basic version and just do it for free. No problem with that whatsoever. It is a solid application. You can even have SSO on the basic version, which is something you just don't really have. Sure, you can have a 15 user limit, but if you want a baseline of managing tasks and projects for your teams, there is nothing wrong with doing Asana. And I would probably recommend it for any business starting out in a new task management system because it's just simple and it can integrate with Microsoft 365, Google Workspace. There's a great Gmail integration, connects well with Slack, and overall, it's got everything you need. For the higher levels, you even have nice goals, which are cool, and the ability to take a look at portfolios and how like you're reaching these KPIs. And the reporting options are just not something you're gonna get on these other applications. The mobile app is okay. Uh, I wouldn't call it anything groundbreaking. I know that's something that's nice at my work is that I'm able to switch between my personal Asana like at my company and we have an external board as well. 
with our clients and that is a very convenient thing. So if you're looking for something that has those kind of options, I would definitely check out Asana. Now, last but not least, I'm actually gonna give two different recommendations here. One is gonna be Microsoft To Do for Microsoft users and the other is gonna be Things 3 for Mac users. So Things is a beautiful task management app that a lot of Mac users swear by. Uh, the pricing on this guy is an interesting one. Like you'll see it's $9.99 and that's it. Uh, what's funny about other applications on Windows is that you know you end up having to pay more over time because it's a software as a service. You can get your app on Mac for $49.99 and you can get the the mobile app for $9.99, which is a solid you know year. And after that, you're pretty much good to go. Whereas other applications, you're gonna have to keep paying year over year. So that's something to consider. The price on this, when you factor it in, is very similar to Todoist. Now, it not having a free option does kind of stink, but overall, it is a very simple application. It has all those same nice things like, you know, today view and inbox, different projects, recurring tasks. It's a task manager that works well on Mac and is very good in the ecosystem overall. Now you can give it a free trial, so this isn't gonna be something you have to immediately use and pay for it, but there's a reason so many people use it, even though it's only Mac exclusive. So I would definitely recommend giving it a try if you're on the Mac side. And then from a task management standpoint on Windows, Microsoft To Do. This is available for your Windows computer, Android, Mac, or Apple devices. And it does actually have a pretty solid mobile app, but this is a tool that's free out of the box. It's got a My Day view, it's got decent keyboard shortcuts. It doesn't have like a quick capture feature that really puts anything to shame, but it's got the option to separate different lists and group things together. And it's got everything that you kind of need if you wanna have a basic task manager on the go or on your computer. I used this at my day job for like seven, eight months before I switched to using Notion about two years ago while I was at work and this was a solid option. I was able to keep track of all the different tasks I needed. And while it doesn't have a myriad of different views or a lot of options, it was completely serviceable. And if you're utilizing this with Outlook and different things in the Microsoft suite, it does have really good integrations. You can, as I've pointed out in other videos, snag different emails and add it to your to-do list very easily in the Microsoft ecosystem. This is something that people don't use often. They'll like put their tasks in OneNote or something. And if you work at a company that has Microsoft tools, I really just gotta recommend that you check this out because it is severely underrated and severely underutilized. What are your thoughts? Are these serviceable alternatives to TickTick? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And what are your thoughts on this video on how to improve your productivity even more?